Your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with meteorologist Trevor Burchett. A lot nicer weather-wise today than we were yesterday. We had all those showers and storms to deal with last night. Luckily, lots of sunshine through the area today. Hopefully, you were able to get outside and enjoy it because there are some changes coming up to our forecast. Let's take a look at what's coming up here on the next couple of days. Really, tomorrow going to be much of the same as today. Warm, breezy, and sunny to begin with at least. But we are watching Tropical Storm Cristobal. That's going to increase our rain chances for Monday, where we're also going to have to deal with some breezy winds. And some of those showers will also linger through the day on Tuesday. So quiet for tomorrow, but more weather is on the way next week. Here's a live look outside from the Alpha Insurance Camera Network. Columbus looking pretty good. Just a few clouds out there. Same story in Louisville for our friends in Tupelo and Vernon. Things looking pretty nice over there as well. Anywhere from the upper 80s to low 90s, depending on where you are. But that humidity is really making it feel warm out there. Some folks have felt as hot as 100 degrees through the afternoon today. Tonight, though, not going to feel like 100. We're going to feel more like 70. It is going to be fairly muggy, though, and the clouds are going to start to increase as that tropical storm gets closer and closer to us. There's already some clouds filtering into the south along I-20, and those are going to slowly make their way into our area overnight tonight and also through the day tomorrow. Light winds tonight generally out of the east-southeast at about 3 to 7 miles an hour. Tomorrow, as I mentioned, a really nice day for us. We're going to see a mix of sun and clouds. I think more clouds in the afternoon, though, as, the, again, Tropical Storm Cristobal filtering in here. Highs right around 90, hot and humid once again. Good news is I think most of your Sunday is going to be dry. Uh, I do think we're going to have to watch late in the day after sunset. That's when some of those outer bands from the storm are going to start to filter in here. Uh, and really, that's going to be our main talking point here for the next several days. Here's the current setup with what is going on with Tropical Storm Cristobal. Not hard to spot it there, spinning right in the Gulf of Mexico. Notice, though, most of the convection is there on the east side of the storm. So all the heavy rain, all the wind is going to be on the east side of the storm. Keep that in mind here in just a little bit. Right now, max winds 50 miles an hour, pressure down to 994 millibar, and it's moving at a fairly quick pace uh, for what most hurricanes and tropical storms do off to the north at about 12 miles an hour. On that current trajectory, looking like it is going to make landfall here. Let's see if I can go back. Hit that one too fast. There we go. Uh, looking like we're going to make landfall along the Louisiana coastline tomorrow afternoon. And then the center of the storm is going to go to our west. But remember, I just told you the heavy rain and the wind is on the east side of the storm. So that is going to put us in a position where we're going to have to deal with some of that heavy rain and wind. There's the graphic you just saw for a second. Let's go back to it. Tropical storm warnings in effect uh, anywhere from Pensacola, Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, all the way over through the Mississippi Gulf Coast, through New Orleans and Baton Rouge. And again, that is because even though the center of the storm is going to make landfall somewhere uh, down to the south of Baton Rouge, all of that heavy rain is going to be on the east side. So if you've got a beach trip planned here in the next couple of days for Gulf Shores or Orange Beach, you're going to have to deal with some of that heavy rain and wind. We're going to have to deal with some of it here as well. Take a look at this, our rainfall forecast as we get into uh, Wednesday and Thursday as we've added everything up. It's looking like anywhere from under an inch to over three inches in some spots. Uh, now this has the highest amounts targeted right over Starkville, but really it's going to depend on where the storm ends up. If that storm ends up just a little bit further to the west, these heavier amounts are going to be closer to I-55. I really think the highest rain amounts are going to be closer to I-55, but really anybody could see anywhere from one to three inches of rain as we get through next week. Also, we're going to have to deal with some gusty winds. This is our future cast model for uh, Monday as the storm comes in here. There's the center, but notice all those winds on the east side. So we're going to be talking about wind gusts anywhere from 25 to 35 miles an hour in addition to that heavy rain through the day on Monday. Here's the AccuWeather 7-day forecast. Sunday, tomorrow, again, looking pretty decent. A mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures close to 90. Monday and Tuesday, I think, is our wettest days uh, with temperatures just a little bit cooler thanks to all that rain. Wednesday, some isolated showers and storms, but after that, we dry out through the end of the week. That allows us to warm back up into the upper 80s by next weekend.